Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Now I'm just dropping in to chat about AFL Evolution 2. So on April 23rd, 2020, AFL Evolution 2 will be coming out and I am so, so, so excited. It's ridiculous. I am... Um, I can't express how pumped I am to get my mittens on this game. They've released the Paddy Cripps front cover, which looks unbelievable. I'm personally a little bit surprised Sam Reid isn't on this one. I, um, I thought he would be a sneaky sniff. But yeah, I think Paddy Cripps is, is a great selection. I saw some things online where people were saying that, uh, that Nat Fife should have been on there, but I think there's an argument for a lot of players that could have been on there, but I don't think there's too many people saying Paddy Cripps doesn't deserve it because he's one of the best players in the comp and he's about 14 years old. I think they've got more stadiums in this one. I think Bluntstone and, and Alice Springs are in there, um, which is which is sick. Gary Lyon and Hutto are going to be commentating, which will be <laughs> which will be great. I reckon Hutto is probably the most popular. Um, or the most least disliked commentator out there. And it's because Hutto, you know, goes about his own business in his own way. He doesn't make the commentary about him, he, he makes it about the game. And like, your BTs of the world. So, I think Hutto is a great selection. I can't wait to see Hutto call the demons to an AFL Premiership in AFL Evolution 2. Uh, not in real life, anytime soon. But yeah, April 23rd. I don't know if I can last till then, to be honest. Sort of thinking about the sort of content I want to do with AFL Evo 2. Uh, I'd like to do a career with the Ds, but then I worry that my channel's probably a bit too Ds-centric. So, um, or Ds, is that the word? Ds-centred, Ds. I'm gonna back in centric, yeah. Century. Yeah, so I get, um, I get full-blown passionate when I play as the D's in anything. If I had to represent the D's in dart throwing, I would, just because it's the D's, I would get passionate. So I would be more emotionally invested in a Melbourne career. But I'm up for, uh, for weighing that up. I'm up for a debate with that. Let me know what you guys think below. But I wouldn't mind taking the D's to a bit of a dynasty. I also want to make a lot more one-off videos that I was doing. So that, you know, trying to get 50 touches in a game and the biggest comebacks and stuff like that. More scenario based would be fun. Because I just like, you know, challenging myself for little one-off games. I think that's, um, I think that's the go as well. And then potentially, uh, you know, me and Cookson will grab a team and take them to glory, which we couldn't do with the Collingwood Football Club, unless we do that now, between now and then. Uh, we, yeah, we gotta, we got to organise that, but we couldn't quite get the, the pies to glory. Um, but I vowed to do that with the team that I play with this time. I'm really keen to see ratings. Ratings is always controversial, so <laughs> it'll be interesting to see where all the players fall into line. What have they done to my boy Sam Wiedemann? Is he going to be able to mark in this game? Because he can clunk him in real life, and in AFL Evo, he can't get his mittens on him. So, um, yeah, keen to see what they do with the player ratings. Just keen to get my mittens on the game. I've been waiting a long, long time, just like a lot of you guys out there. So, couldn't be any more enthusiastic about the prospect of oh, playing some, some new AFL Evo. All right, guys, I thought I would just drop in and chat about AFL Evo 2. Um, whack down below uh, your thoughts on the game. Are you excited? Are you a little bit apprehensive? Because I'm backing this one into a river. I really, I really am. I don't know. I'm really excited about it. So yeah, let me know your thoughts down below, and I'll be uh, getting around the comments straight after this vid goes up. Cheers.